walking down the street with my dad. He holds my hand, I look up. It's not my dad, it's just a random man. He puts me in a van. Part one <laughs> of three. <laughs> a random man pulls off a mask. It's actually my dad. We both laugh and drive off down the road to an orphanage. He swaps me for a bike. <laughs> I thought we were just going to crack into part three. <laughs> the orphanage was just a dream. I wake up in my bed, but someone's painted all the windows black. I'm in a sack, I'm still in the stranger's van. <laughs> a happy ending after all. <laughs> just been using this keyboard a lot on the, on the weekend, in my free time. Been working a lot on my ice cream truck music. It's good, isn't it? It's good. I like to walk down the street with it like this. <laughs> Just to really disappoint all the local children. You know? <laughs> fuck the kids. <laughs> fuck the kids. Any, any parents in tonight, give us a cheer? <laughs> yeah, fuck your kids, mate. <laughs> I'm quite obsessed with ice cream truck music. I think it's got quite a sinister tone to it. You know? I think it's weird that parents hear this in the park. And think to themselves, yeah, I'm going to send my kids towards that. <laughs> Go buy a treat from the creepiest looking vehicle I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Go speak to the nice man in a bow tie who looks clinically depressed. That seems like a strong parenting move. No. <laughs> Very creepy, isn't it? Very creepy. Have you heard this coming from your house? <laughs> like. Like your loft. <laughs> You'd burn your entire fucking house down. <laughs> Quite new to this, and I've been going around some of the bigger clubs, comedy clubs, and there's a lot of comedians that have been there for 20, 30 years. They don't respect me, because I'm a musical comedian and got sort of a gimmick. It's not class, it's pure comedy, right? I was doing a gig quite recently. There was a comedian in the bar, and he said, I overheard him, he went, I wish I could play a musical instrument. It'd be so easy to get laughs. Right? It really annoyed me, because he didn't know anything about me or anything about my background. Right? So I confronted him and I said, would it be easy for you to grow up in Malaysia after your home got destroyed by a tsunami? <laughs> would it be easy for you to raise your entire family from the age of 12 after your dad left you for a better life in a faraway country? Would it be easy for you to teach yourself English during the day and piano at night in the hopes of one day earning a scholarship to the London College of Music, would that be easy for you? And to be fair to him, he said, that sounds horrible. I'm so sorry I said that. <laughs> I said, don't say sorry to me. Say sorry to my son that I've left in Malaysia. <laughs> I've been huge, Daddy. See you later. Bye.